Episode 5. Firewalls and Gateways. You wouldn't leave the front door to your house wide open, nor would you leave the doors to your business premises wide open. So you probably wouldn't want to do this in the online world either, would you? But that's what many of us do without realising it. You see, your firewall is your front door to the internet. If they have easy to guess or default passwords and are managed from the internet, then anyone can manage them, effectively stripping you of their protection. If they are not configured in line with your business needs, then they can let unwanted guests in. Using a strong password known to a small number of people is also a good way to keep the cyber gremlin at bay. Managing the list of people with access to permission to alter the settings of your firewalls and gateways is another good idea. Ideally, this should be as few as possible. In addition to your hardware firewalls activating, you can set up an inbuilt firewall on all the devices you use to connect to the internet. This is really easy to set up and will afford you a level of protection from the likes of Cyber Gremlin. Your firewalls and gateways may be managed by third parties such as a network service provider or a security specialist. The Cyber Gremlin relies on you to make assumptions and not to check on how your service provider is performing. Why not ask them about their security credentials? Look for membership of the Cyber Essential Scheme or ask to see their security policies. Ask them for evidence of how they've managed changes to your perimeter devices and firewalls and ask them what testing and monitoring they do. If you're not happy, why not contact a penetration testing company and ask them to test security. For more information on firewalls and gateways, why not visit the government's Cyber Essentials page?